let's work on our orange light. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and create a material for my orange light. So let's go ahead and um, you can possibly use this uh, blue here. So let's go ahead and create a duplicate and I'm going to uh, name it my orange light material. And let's go ahead and change some of the stuff that we have here. I'm going to go ahead and change the uh, color for the moment to be this orange here. And let's go ahead and have it uh, back where it was. I'm going to my alpha channel then. And the next thing, I possibly don't need this gradient here for the moment. I'm going just to uh, use a sort of, a, let's go ahead back to this uh, luminance here. Okay. Let me go to my alpha. I'm going to my surface and again use a simple, actually I'm going to use a simple gradient here. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to 2DV or 2DU, really doesn't matter in this case. And open up your gradient. I'm going to change the interpolation to none and put this maybe about, let's go ahead to something like 3.3333. 3, 3, 3, 3. So and create another one which is going to be block and something like 66.6666666. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and invert the nuts, sorry, double the nuts. So double the nuts a few times. And there you go, you got this nice sort of stripes. I'm just going to basically try to make some uh, irregularity so we have a bit more of a nicer situation maybe just to have it maybe something very small, something one very big. So just uh, to make it a bit more maybe nicer, I guess. And we can go to our uh, gradient here and see where we are. Mm, okay, we can go ahead and actually use a bit more of brighter color, maybe an orange color also here if you want, let's go for example to this color and change this maybe to this orange color if we wanted to even though it's not a quite a nice combination here but I'm just going to uh, stay what, with what we have at the moment I think it would be uh, enough. I'm going to go ahead and get up there let's go ahead and uh, increase our brightness to something like 150 so we have a nicer and more brighter uh, reflection in our scene so this is our first thing that I want to do. The next thing is actually go ahead and start working on our uh, orange light here. I'm just going to make sure uh, to rename the uh, lights uh, the way they should be. So let's go ahead and uh, type in their orange light. This is our orange plane. So let's go ahead and quickly do that. And we can open up the Espresso and uh, basically swap the uh, Let's go. Actually, as you can see, it applies and it changes, but I'm just going to make sure that everything is working the way it should work. So, this is the uh, plane and this is the material. And let's go ahead and apply this material to our orange plane. I'm going to make sure it is turned on and my blue light is turned off. Okay. So, here is our orange light. Let's go ahead and try to move this thing a bit and see what are we going to do here. So I'm going to do the same thing, select the light. Uh, as you can see the target, uh, let's go ahead and redefine it and make sure the target is uh, at the zero. And that's, let's see. There we go. Let's go ahead and move our light here a bit and see what are we going to do. I'm going to first of all really go ahead and make sure the light is a bit smaller. Let's go to something maybe like maybe 450 and 450 and let's just see what are we going to do. I'm going to move the thing maybe a bit to here, a bit to here and let's see down maybe here a bit 
I'm just trying to really get it maybe it's more like here wouldn't be that bad and let me go to my function and render all the materials that I have you can see at the um, uh, Expresso isn't working exactly the way it should work let me go ahead I really don't want to get into Expresso and I'm trying just to make uh, stuff as simple as possible here so uh, there we go here is the uh, orange light the color of this light should uh, define the uh, color of our plane so this is the color that we want to be used and hopefully there we go it has changed and we just need to go ahead and uh, see if we can actually uh, render all the materials again and there you can see we have it right where it should be so the next thing for me is let's go ahead and take a look at this the alpha channel okay this is not too bad I'm just going to see how this light is gonna work so we are going to make sure everything is turned off and we just have these uh, let's see the blue light and this is the orange light that we have in our scene so let's go ahead and see how this is gonna work and um, just make sure that we have this compositing tag in here so it won't uh, it's not gonna be seen in our render let me go ahead and save the scene and render it again okay let's see what we are having here I'm gonna get closer and see it from maybe this angle and I'm gonna just I just want to see how the reflections are happening and how we can see them in our uh, render here okay this is what we have at the moment I'm going to uh, select the light it's about 100% here and let's go ahead and reduce it a bit maybe and also come up here to the material luminance I'm going to go to something like 135 and see if the reflection is gonna happen in nice way let's go ahead and maybe put it about here our light and see how it's gonna work so let's render it again now you can see we have this really nice reflections in here that I was looking for much more better much more better as you can see maybe it was uh, more of a placement issue than working with the values you can see now we have this very nice uh, reflections in our scene and uh, I think it's a good time to let me just uh, maybe take a look at at the whole thing from a Maybe this angle let's see how that's gonna work let's go ahead and render it and see how this is gonna uh, affect our render as you can see we have a quite a good situation to be honest with you we can go ahead and mix in the other lights and see how the general thing is looking like but um, I have a quite strong feelings toward it and I think it's quite nice and look at those reflections they are they are gorgeous aren't they now when we add the other parts I think we can uh, have a, a more tweaks and see how exactly they should uh, look like and how we can um, maybe we need to adjust and tweak some of the stuff, stuff to make really uh, some cool stuff I, I think just this light is really ready to render it is so gorgeous and if you render it you're gonna have so much nice reflections that you're not gonna need anything else but in this case let's go ahead and turn on the other lights and see how they basically affect our scene so let me go ahead and enable them too and see what we are gonna get I we might have a have some issues I'm not sure let's go ahead and render the whole thing together and see how they affect I mean just this is awesomeness this is awesomeness quite quite nice and strong just uh, one advice please please and please don't stick to what I have at what I'm doing here try to make your own combination just imagine a lighting situation and try to replicate it using the tools that you have inside cinema 4d you are not gonna have to do exactly the same thing uh, just imagine and try to make something out of what you learn here and try to apply it to your scene I mean this is nice let me go ahead and get closer and see how exactly it is working in a bit more uh, closer shots 
Oh god, this is looking good. Okay, fantastic, very nice stuff, very cool project. Uh, the render speed might be a bit not that great, but, uh, you know, uh, the render time is something that you are never going to be able to really control it exactly. Mm, if you need some nice renders, you are going to need to suffer some render hit. So let's wait for the render until it's finished and see the process and the uh, result that we have. I really like this orange reflection, uh, how how cool it is. Oh god, this is this is. Uh, uh, okay, cool, great. Now this is, uh, I think this is nice. Let me go ahead and render it from some other angles. This is one of our angles, possibly, in the final render. Let's go ahead, maybe come to here and see how the reflection is going to happen. Maybe here, let's go ahead and render it and see uh, the result. Okay, look at the combination of orange and blue. Let's see, actually it's quite nice. Let's see, have a maybe render from this angle and see how this is gonna work and how it is really nice. I really like it, look at those reflections. Okay, very cool and very very nice render. Look at this render. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm hearing a lot of positive words, but the, the render is very nice. You gotta admit it. So let's go ahead. Um, maybe maybe some other. Let's go ahead. Here's the mesh that we have. Let's see. Um, okay. Now maybe render this, even though it's so chaotic but let's go ahead and render and see what we're gonna have here and as you can see where the mesh gets more complex the render uh, gets uh, slower but this is something that you're gonna need to uh, really um, you know learn to um, adjust yourself with it. You have to suffer under time, you have to wait for renders, days, weeks, but uh, when the job is done you're gonna have uh, so much fun just looking at your project and saying oh my god this is amazing. Anyway so this is quite cool um, uh, definitely the uh, anti-aliasing issues are uh, quite um, apparent here and we need to increase our anti-aliasing settings to really get the uh, render uh, to be much more nicer but for the moment I think we are having a, a quite a good situation but uh, definitely the anti-aliasing makes these parts to look a bit uh, funny and ugly but when we uh, increase our anti-aliasing we're gonna have a, a much more better uh, render okay I think this is not too bad. Let's uh, get back to maybe a scene like here when the fluid comes back. Let's go ahead and see what we're going to get from this angle and if there is anything need to be done. Okay, I think we have a quite a nice situation. The anti-aliasing is really bothering me right now and we can go ahead and uh, really crank the, the setting up a bit in our physical render to something like medium and really this is the least that we need to go with in uh, render because we have a lot of reflection, sharp reflection and refractions and uh, otherwise we're gonna get those really uh, ugly uh, noises uh, but uh, this way we're gonna have a you can see nicer render and uh, you know really slower render and it's gonna take much more time 
unfortunately uh, there is no way to escape the slow renders you just you know you can do some optimizing but uh, uh, we're working with very low options here there we go you can see now we have increased our anti-aliasing a lot of noises are going and we have much more better render and uh, yeah just uh, let's wait for the render to be finished and I think it is quite nice what we have right now and uh, I think we can go ahead and start working on our uh, cameras and set up uh, first of all we have to decide which version of our um, basic uh, fluid simulation we're gonna go with these uh, 715 or the version that was uh, twice faster and it would possibly be finished at about uh, 350 and this is a hard decision <laughs> and uh, you know we need to make those hard decisions and here it is going to be finished hopefully as you can see the render time is going quite high um, I mean, for a scene like that, a uh, render time of 3-4 minutes per uh, frame is quite acceptable and uh, I would never allow my renders to be more than that, uh, especially for scenes that I have to render out 300, 400, 500 frames. I'm trying to, uh, to keep my renders uh, less than 400, 4 minutes and uh, uh, because if, if a render, uh, if you have to wait 10 minutes just to render one frame and imagine you have about 500 frames that's uh, that's a nightmare you have to wait uh, 5,000 minutes uh, now divide 5,000 by 60 minutes and imagine how many hours you're gonna need to wait so we'll be trying to keep our render time as quick as possible uh, yeah and uh, what I really wanna um, make sure that you understand that these look we have here is not our final look we are simply are going to be able to import this whole uh, data into After Effects and we have a lot of uh, tools there to make sure uh, the look is exactly the way we want and if we want to change something we will possibly be able to easily do that inside After Effects. Now this is the just a uh, uh, starting look and we uh, can go ahead and change the uh, look of our renders exactly the way we wanted to so I think generally speaking we have a nice render here and uh, I think I'm gonna stop this lesson here and start working on the uh, my camera setups and how to basically go ahead and work on our camera just uh, for our final situation I'm going to render maybe something like this here so let's see how this is going to look maybe from here I'm just going to quickly reduce the uh, physical to something uh, much more smaller for this case just to have a quicker render just see how the whole scene looks like from this angle now uh, when you have a lot of reflections and refraction the angle that you are you viewing your work is very important to how the reflections are gonna look that's uh, very uh, important to understand that uh, in some angles your work might look really ugly and in some angles your reflections might look very nice and because we have a lot of motions and uh, you know we move our cameras and we're basically designing a motion here so we're not going to uh, stick with one angle we're gonna have different angles but we'll try to uh, choose angles that are gonna be uh, much more nicer and really serve the purpose and uh, you know we just need to make them look great and we're gonna be able to do that okay I think we are quite good to go I like the reflections I like the way everything is looking and I think we're gonna uh, start working our camera setups and uh, in the next lesson I will uh, see you and uh, we will um, um, I think we need about one two lesson to finish up the cameras and work on them and then we're gonna be able to start adding some uh, preparation for our final render and we will uh, then render it and start working in After Effects and uh, do some compositing so I'm just waiting for this render to be finished so we can see it in its whole glory here okay nice so you can see we have a very, very nice render. So see you in the next lesson.